Grant Dawson, this is how a professional fighter looks like. Making weight. It's early. Fucking making weight. While you're fucking crying over there, I'm sweating my ass here to make weight. Deal with it. Be professional. Hey Siri, how much is 169 pounds and kilograms? 159 pounds is 72.12 ah, kilograms. I'll just do it on this one. That's kilograms. What's what's Mark going through right now? I don't know. I see these guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just basically cutting water out. That's it. <coughs> What's the plan for him? I think we'll probably do uh, maybe three pounds left tomorrow morning and then head to Wayne's at about 8.30. Do you think this is the toughest part of the fight for a lot of a lot of fighters? Yeah, 100%. This is definitely the hardest. They've already uh, <coughs> depleted in food for the last week. No calories, hardly any carbs. Um, you know, still getting two, three workouts a day, and then coming over here, and then now cutting 12 pounds in 24 hours is no easy task. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, this is what we call normal in, in, in this sport, right? Can I get it on? Ready? You can, or you can go straight in. Does that feel better? No, I think it's better to jump straight in. Oh. <laughs> like, no, I don't feel like Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Gotta do it like this. Oh, yeah. Right Get this. Hey! Oh, that's better. That's better. So Mark is losing weight. So, he, of course, he had 12 pounds to lose to, this, to start. Um, we started him in a hot bath at about 107 degrees. You know, it's hot enough to, to keep him sweating, but not too hot to boil him. You know what I mean? And uh, 20 minutes in there, that really, really opens the pores, really just gets you sweating. As soon as he comes out, we do a quick uh, towel dry and put sweet sweat on. A sweet sweat keeps the pores open, so it just makes you sweat at a much higher rate than you normally would otherwise. And uh, put the sweet sweat on all over his body, put a sauna suit on top of that, and uh, put a space blanket on. They're called space blankets, but really they're, they're camping thermal, uh, thermal blankets. Put that on top of him with uh, some towels and blankets for 20 minutes as well. So 20 minutes in the bath, come out, dry off sweet sweat, and then we just wrap him up in a little mummy. We make a little uh, Danish burrito out of him. So are you, are you used to being around him just from you know, I mean, you know cutting I mean, weight just all the years yeah, of wrestling? Yeah, yeah. Since he was six years old, we uh, got the advice to give him something to eat the day before weighing, he didn't like, so the weight was okay next morning, but it doesn't help any longer. When you watch him fight, usually, like how do you feel as you're, as you're kind of sitting there watching him, what's, what's going through your head? All the thoughts a father can, can contain Fearness, proudness, afraid of damage, and all stuff together. So it's hard to be in the fight, but in the fight, but beside the fight. What's uh, what's the big waterfall in Denmark? There's no waterfalls. There's no none. No. It's flat. No, no, no. Nothing. We had a river. All right. What's the <laughs> river? Gudenøen. Okay, so what's the river name? Golden Owen. Golden Owen. Like the Golden Owen River. That's what, what Mark's uh, sweat is going to be flowing like. You have never. Never. Wow. I have more than 3,000 wrestling matches. I never missed weight once. Wow. We're not starting now. No. No. Let's keep, I like that streak. Depending on his weight tonight, if he's one or two pounds over, we probably won't do anything more tonight. Uh, let him just sleep minutes. and rest. How many like fighters have you like gone through with this? Is this something you're very used to, just helping guys, guys and girls? I couldn't even tell you how many times we've gone through this weight cut. I mean, hundreds, maybe thousand. I don't know. I'm enough to where 
I know the weight cut pretty well. I don't know if there if one ever becomes an expert in weight cutting, but we're we're definitely not uh, we're not beginners at it. Honestly, I think you should go one more round. I think you're on weight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I think you're super close. You wanna see? But you are close. Maybe 10 minutes then. Yo, you, know, you tell me you only lost six, seven pounds? No way. I, I'll it's bet at least you. Eight. At least eight. Easily eight. At least eight. I, I think we're closer to 10. 10 plus. I'll bet you guys dinner. 20 minutes more or should we just well, Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. wait. So you said you bet dinner. Are we going to that? To the original yeah, place, or are we going to Gallagher's? <laughs> that depends on where we're betting and what. Oh, no, we're going to Gallagher's on a date. What did you say, Eddie? I think 57. 57, 58. 58, That's a pretty good bet, right? Yeah. 160. 160. What time do you want to start in the morning? I want to be down here 7.30. So, 6. Okay, but Eddie, do you want me to call Ali and uh, and and listen what's up or? I I told the the Sean to call Ali. So. Okay, who called you? Who called you? Five thirty. Jason. Jason. So, so Grand Grand Dawson's manager called you at five thirty and told you that he couldn't make weight. So it's confirmed that Grand Dawson is not making weight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Grand Dawson is not gonna gonna be able to make weight. And he had a week. Yeah. He had an extra week. Yeah. Here. I think mean, if it was a bad falling out or not, and it sounds like it was. Sounds like, like it was. was. He sounded better. So that, yeah, I just couldn't see the difference from yesterday. <laughs> hey, how are you, bud? How you doing? I'm good, I'm making weight. Alright. I'm making weight. I'll, good? I'll be yeah, on good. weight. I'll be on weight, Dave. I know you will. I never, I never worried about. It. I worried when I just got, a, I just got, a, I just got a call saying that you uh, that you want to talk to me. I'm like, Mark's always on weight. Yeah, no. The news is Grant Dawson is not gonna make weight. He's being a pussy. Really? <laughs> yeah, we got a call this morning. Uh, he's two and a half off. He's dry heaving. He's crying. Blah blah blah. So he's not gonna make weight. Somebody right. has to call a grown up, Dave. No, no, no. Try. Yeah. Really. Exactly. You know, and he, and he stopped to save his energy, and then he's like, and they're making the story up. That's the only thing that worries me. Yeah. We'll 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 know at weigh-ins. Take a look at him a little right. bit. You know, you can tell when people are struggling. <laughs> yeah. That's something you can't act. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna confront him, Dave. I'm gonna say he's a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him if he's on weight. This is, I mean, this is bullshit. You gotta be professional. This is, this is you. Dave, this is the Olympics within the MMA. Could you imagine going to the Olympics and not making weight? No fucking way. I saw him at, uh, at the equipment pickup. He didn't look like he was struggling. He looked light, he looked like, you know. But it does matter, Dave. Still kick his ass. Yep. Yeah. Unless you gotta tell him, you know, no matter what, I'm still gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna make his nose flat. <laughs> Grant Dawson, this is how a professional fighter looks like. Making weight. It's early. Fucking making weight. While you're fucking crying over there, I'm sweating my ass here to make weight. Deal with it. Be professional. When the Godfather comes out, the voice is there. Marlon Brando is here. That was good. Just, just kept sweating. You didn't even have to go back in. You just kept sweating in that. Easy. What do you call Grant? Tell him how to make weight. I just check my weight. We always we have to check our weights in the morning. And uh, Grant Dawson passed me on the the hallway. Just ask him if he was on weight. You weight? No. I mean, you can hear my voice. I've you know I put everything into it. Had more than three thousand wrestling matches. Never missed weight once in my life. Don't show up. When you know you have a fight, don't show up. And not be on point. I don't think he even tried, honestly.
one, 15.5 for Poliana Viana. Next to the scale, Grant Dawson. Visual weight 157 and a half for Grant Dawson. One fifty-five. Official weight 155 pounds for Mark O. Madsen. Main card, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. It's a five-fight main card on ESPN+. Plus. It starts in the lightweight division. Mark O'Madson takes on Grant Dawson. I have not a few of those. That's not just never was nice. I understand. Got a few for the show? I understand. Up next, we're in the flyweight division. Nate Manus takes on Tagir Lenbekov. How are you feeling, brother? I feel good. Yeah, because I was going to tell you, bro, at this time, it doesn't really matter how you're feeling. You just got to go out there. You got to win, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It does make any difference how i feel is about performing i love it absolutely now we're ready i mean like two hours out so we're here gonna warm up a little bit you know the drill and then go in there and yeah get it don't worry about it don't worry about it like dave says don't worry about it it's time coach bro good luck today. i'll be here watching thank you thank you henry appreciate you thank you better to stretch the fingers than try to go up a size of glove. Yeah, right. Just throw these on. Because you're, you're going to take those off. Yeah. And then the other thing too is like once you get, you're going to put these on again. Yeah. When he presses them though, uh, puts his hand in there and presses down, it's pulling those tight. Take your hand and stick it in there and then just push the pad forward. Mm, and okay. then you'll get a Got little it. bit of room. <laughs> and a big finish. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank you. What I'm looking for, if you want to keep that position, is effort to finish the fight. Not just busy work, shot shots like that. Looking for big fight finishing blows or effort to advance your position and look for things. Now get a look at your nails. All right, great. Toenails are great. That's it for me. Okay, see you out there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you said that? Oh, 
the greatest uh, uh, the UFC while well, keeping his arm beat. Denmark is a reset of Greece. Can you see him getting aggro in the last three years? Denmark is scoring a dominant stoppage over Danilo Beluardo or gutting out a tough decision over Clay Guida. The three time Olympian now attempts to go 13 0 when he faces Grant Dawson. Making the tough decision to relocate from Missouri to Florida, Dawson saw his risk rewarded in April with a submission win over Jared Gordon that extended his own unbeaten streak to 10, heading into tonight's bout. Coming up next, Grant KGD Dawson squares off against the Olympian Mark O. Let's go, Mark. Baby, let's go. Stand by. It's your time. That we had a great beginning. I mean, he dropped him with the uh, double jab cross that we were working on. Um, it was just unfortunate. Uh, I mean, you got to tip your hat off to Dawson. He did a great job of wrestling. Um, there's a lot of things in hindsight that we can look at. Maybe more repetitions. Um, you know, I mean, but he was doing everything right during camp and everything else. Um, and then uh, I think he just got a little discouraged after the first round when he wasn't able to break the uh, triangle, the bodyguard. And um, yeah, second round was kind of the same. Got taken down with that single leg. Oh, Mark, do you mind if I get a piece of firewood from you? Yeah. Piece of firewood from you it could be the yeah. shirt, jersey, shorts, yeah. shirt. Can you sign it for me? Sign it real quick. Does he have a jacket there? Let's get some clothes and his slippers, please. Here, yeah. Let's put this in there, too. I mean, uh, this is a tough one because Mark moved his family out here. We know what this means to him, and we feel that responsibility to, to uh, take care of him. So um, it's uh, not a good day. And what, what are the next steps now? Um, obviously, Mark, Mark recovery, um, and, and what do you think kind of is next, what you want to work on? Honestly, I don't know uh, <clears throat> what the next step is. I think we just need to go back uh, Monday and then talk about, see what the future holds for him. I know he only had one goal in mind, which was the UFC, the title shot. Um, this is a minor setback, but we had a two-year plan for him. And um, honestly, it's up to Mark what he wants to do. I support him uh, any which way, he, whatever he decides.